Hi. I recorded this uh, reaction to uh, Morse, Bornoy and George, Ham 43, and of course it's, it got blocked all over the world. So I'm going to release it anyway because it's an uh, important song to me. Uh, but from a portent band, band to me and uh, I can't show you the video uh, typical this is not the first time this has happened but anyways uh, if you're interested I post the link uh, up here or down in the description so go check it out and uh, after listening, if you are interested what I think about it, come back again and watch this video. What can I say? I, I'm, I'm really frustrated this, with this. Uh, and I'm going to post another video what I think about all of this. So if you're interested in that, go check it out. But here's what I think and I'll see you on the next one. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, those who doesn't know or don't know, my favorite band is of course Jethro Tull. I have made um, my favorite album list already, always talking about Jethro Tull and so forth. And this was sent to me by a Jethro Tull fan and uh, what the fuck. I didn't even realize this is something that is out. This is more Portnoy and George. Uh, Portnoy being drummer from uh, Dream Theater and Morse and George, uh, these progressive uh, Christian bands, and they have made this uh, cover song album uh, recently, a new one. They have made a few in the past. But uh, this time they have made a cover song from Chet Rotal's Hum 43. So, needless to say, I'm excited. And what better way to start the Monday? So, let's check it out and talk about it later. Horsey, take us there. Excellent. Excellent job. This is a. Uh, I had to uh, try a little about the. I learn songs by the ear, so I just had to, because I had my flute here. Had to try it. Didn't find it, of course. But a great. Of course, it's a great song, uh, and played by these awesome musicians. Portnoy especially did some very great job and the singer as well. Uh, uh, great to hear that uh, bands are making cover songs. It's not so... Uh, I mean it's uh, quite rare that they made a cover song from Jet Rotal. I know that Iron Maiden has made one. It was uh, Cross-Eyed Mary. And I think few others, but to me, uh, I really enjoyed that Iron Maiden one. If you haven't heard it, go check it out. Uh, but to make it work, there are so there aren't so many flute players, and I think that is the main reason why there isn't so many cover songs out there. I know that there is some uh, cover bands that are playing playing Chetro and uh, quite good ones as well but um, these uh, big bands or big players or um, they rarely make a cover song from Chetro Tal and uh, every time I heard hear one it's nice to check it out like this one uh, 
modern sounds and everything is so clean. Uh, that's uh, something that is uh, uh, it's not always a good thing, but in, in this case it is. Uh, I mean, in modern music, everyone is always trying to get <coughs> get back to to the sound that was uh, in seventies or eighties uh, or so time before the uh, Pro Tools came to in the recording bi business. It makes things easier to record. But the thing is that when the recording is easier, uh, people don't... Uh, how, does, how do I explain this? They don't need to practice as much. Like in the case of early bands, they had to record everything in one take. So it had to involve a lot of practice. And that's why I, I really uh, enjoy uh, these older bands more than uh, nothing in these days. I don't. I'm not saying that there aren't any good musicians out there or bands, but you can hear it uh, when you're listening music. You can hear it when it's just copy paste. You don't even have to play the whole song anymore. I do it myself because it's faster. But I always try to uh, get it with one one take. It's easier to mix and you don't have to cut. And uh, I'm not good with computers, so less that I have to do with computers, the better. And uh, yeah, but really, really good, good, good take on this one. I hope they make even more of these cover songs. And if you're watching this video and you know uh, any Jethro Tull covers, I really uh, would like to hear them if I haven't already. This one was totally new to me. And thanks for the guy all or girl who sent this to me. Uh, yeah, please let me know. And uh, I have already made this um, list of my favorite Jethro Tull uh, albums, but I'm thinking of making another one, uh, a better one, where, where maybe album by album, why I like them or what's so special about certain albums or certain songs that makes them so great. And uh, yeah, something to think about. And if you like the content, please, please consider to subscribe. That's something I have to say on every video. But yeah, nice one, great one. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.